So we put the level on the floor um, rather than the A-frame and stuff like that. We find a little bit of a discrepancy there. Um, but we figured if we put it straight on the floor, that's where we're going to notice it the most. Um, it's worked so far. It's been six months and we've always managed to get it pretty level. Um, it's left and right that's a little bit tricky. You've got to use the leveling lamps. But we'll set the GoPro up and you can see how we do that. Um, front and back is just the jockey wheel, so easy. So when you've got a tandem axle van, this is something we didn't know before we set off. Um, it's best to get these split wheel ramps. Um, try and do that one-handed because this then can fit between the two tyres like so. Um, it doesn't really matter if you drive forwards or backwards onto them we found, it sort of just depends on the situation, how much room we've got. Um, each, each day is different, so we're going to go back this time um, just to straighten up the van a little bit with the site. Um, so we'll just set you up over here and we'll show you. Right, so always put the chocks in and then put the handbrake on the van on before Mark takes the brakes off the car. Yeah, because it's always going to roll a little it bit, does. so we're, we allow for that when we've gone up the ramps, kind of will take me over just a little bit so we just can roll back in onto the chocks. Yeah, doesn't always work out. <laughs> so we never travel with the jockey wheel in because um, it could unwind itself and go down and it would be in all sorts of drama. Um, so we just got this bag on the front. Um, we just wedged in there along with the hoses and stuff. I'd like to have a nice big box here, but I can't afford much more tow ball weight, um, and that would add a fair bit. So it's worked for six months. We can we can continue <laughs> to do it. Yeah. Um, so I just first thing I do is I just put the jockey wheel in, take it down so that it takes the pressure, like so, and then I'll start unhitching. Here is our breakaway. If the van ever becomes detached from the car, um, that will pull out of the, um, the little box here and it will apply the brakes to the van that runs off the house batteries. So we've got 200 amp hour, so it'll just slam on the brakes and it's not going to let go anytime soon. Yeah. Anderson plug will charge the batteries, the house batteries of the van, while we're driving from the alternator. And then this one, oh, the monkey's away. <laughs> This one here is our Safety Dave reversing camera, um, which I think is brilliant. I don't know how you could ever have a big van like this without having one of them. Mm. Um, and then this is our 9 pin plug, so our fridge actually gets its 12 volts through the 12 pin plug. Um, some people have issues with it burning out, but um, we seem to not have had that problem. I think we might have used the right size cable, but watch this space, it might still burn <laughs> it's out. It's early days yet. <laughs> um, and then it's got all the rest of the accessories, all your normal lights and um, the brake control from the Toe Pro Elite. It's got the brake sense wire, so it'll apply the brakes, stuff like that. And we always cross our chains, as you should. Watch them back there.
No, you've unclipped. Pardon? Don't never mind. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that first. Yeah. I just hang that up so nothing's dangling on the floor. All the tables are facing down like it's meant to rain. I don't have a bag. Some people get a bag and stuff like that. That's out. Just lift it off the car. So yeah. Now we're unhitched. We're getting a DO35 hitch installed very shortly instead of the ball. I think it'll just make us feel a little bit better when we're mm -hmm. articulating off-road. Um, and it's safer if the van rolls, potentially won't take the car with it. <sighs> potentially. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what it's designed for, so. So I'll just move the car out of the way and then we'll get the front and back level, but it might be too close. So we're just checking the front to back levels. Just up a bit higher. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. He loves it when I do that. It's good, babe. <laughs> so we like to sit a tiny little bit higher in the front than the back. Yeah. Um, yeah, just makes it a bit more comfortable. Yeah.